So what is the creative process like when you guys make a song? Do, you, do they have the music first? Do you have the lyrics first? Is it a combination of the two? Zero rules. Zero rules. Zero rules. And it happens every which way. And it could be anything. Like as the Red Hot Chili Peppers don't have a, a it's got to sound like this or it's got to sound like that. It's got to be hard or it's got to be, it could be anything. It could be funky. It could be bluesy. It could be jazzy. It could be hip hop. It could be folk. We'll play anything, anything that we feel like playing, which is also a blessing because less boxed in. But often John and Flea will stay home and go to their garage or their room or whatever and just play until they have something, a tidbit, a, a chord progression, a rhythm, a, a melody, because that's what they like to do for hours, just play. And they'll come to band practice and they'll say, well, what do you think about this? Be like, I love that. And I think I know what to do with that. And it starts there. And Chad knows what to do and, and we just build together. Or I'll come in and I'll say, I have these words. They're looking for a home. What do you think? And, uh, and John is exquisite at listening to what I'm doing. And, you know, I kind of feel like I'm surrounded by geniuses and I'm a little bit of the idiot, but he's good at deciphering the idiot's genius. So he listens to me and he's like, I know what to put with that. And then it just grows. And what is your writing process like? Do you write alone? Do you like to sit alone? Do you write with them around you? Like, how do you write? I, I like to write alone, but I'm not afraid to write in a crowded room if, if it's flowing. Um, I think the, the number one thing is just to write. If you go sit down and listen to music and get a piece of paper and a pencil or however you write, something's going to happen. Something always happens. Sometimes it's better than others, but if you make that time to write, something's going to happen. Mm. Um, or if you have an idea, no matter where you are, on a plane, riding a bike, sound asleep, you better get the fuck up and put that idea down because that, that could be it. If, it. if it came to you, it means something. So, yeah, I like to sit on my back porch with a boom box and play today's rehearsal and just sit there and write. And, uh, and I owe some of that to my father who kind of implanted that in me, the writing, the creativity, you know, understanding words, but probably the most powerful thing that you could ever write is, is something that's honest. So playful is fun. Intellectual is fun. Interesting is fun. But when you crack into that emotional thing where it hurts or it, just one of those moments of honesty. That's perhaps the most valuable. That's the kind of music I think that resonates with people the most. I mean, people love all kinds of music, right? But there's something about when you know that an artist is saying something that comes from the deepest part of their being. Like there's like some reality to what they're singing about it at least represents some reality of what they're saying about that, you know, it's a part of them mm -hmm. that it, it excites people so much because you're sharing something, you're sharing like a part of your soul, you're sharing a part of your life experience, you're sharing a part of your personality and you're doing so through your writing, you're doing so through your singing. It resonates. We're, we're all connected. Yeah. <laughs> and when people are like, I know that feeling. Mm. I want to experience this guy's version of that feeling. I'm connected to that. The hardest of the hard, the gangsters of LA, I'll be riding down the Sunset Boulevard and I'll hear under the bridge coming out of a low rider. And it is the toughest, scariest, most, you know, loked out looking dudes just melting with under the bridge. Mm. I'm like, okay. That was, that was a day well spent in a writing that song. Do you always close with that song? Or do you guys mix up? Uh, we mix it up. And, but yeah, it's a meaningful tune. It has stood the test of time. When you guys closed with it the other night, I was like, yeah, you kind of have to. Uh, I owe a lot of that to Rick Rubin, that song. 
He's amazing, isn't he? He's all right. What a trip. He's all right. <laughs> he's such an unusual For person. a beginner, he's pretty good. <laughs>